Hey guys, Shot Show 2019. Evic, I don't know if you can see it. G. Evic Smooth, we're gonna be looking at all the cool stuff. They have a lot of stuff going on. Hi, Julie. She's oh, she's so camera shy. Anyway, welcome to the booth. We are gonna be doing all the stuff going on. Um, by the way, if you guys don't know, that was that was Evic's wife. She's like the map. Believe it or not, she's the brains behind this business. Look at that. She's so mad at me now off camera. I'm gonna have to re-edit this thing. Okay. So anyway, first big news: Tag In is now going to be exclusively distributed by Evic in America, and they've got a ton of cool stuff going on. I'm gonna start with the new tubes. You guys know how these work? They have a projectile and a tube. There's a ton of projectiles. You guys know like marking rounds, dummy rounds. Uh, impact explosion rounds, explosion, uh, all kinds of timers, rounds. Well, now they have new shells. So we have three of the new shells to add to their shell lineup. So you actually charge these things up, you put the projectile in, it's rifled on the inside, and they launch out. So the first one is an HPA rated shell. So you can power it up with HPA directly into the fill valve. So you can actually fill it that way for way efficient gas use. They have this one, which is a distance round. It's got numbers across the bottom. You dial it from all the way from minimum one, all the way to maximum five. Actually, it's one to, it's really, below one and above five, so it's actually seven positions to set the distance. So you're gonna like 40-ish you know, like feet and then it just goes out from there. So you can like set this thing to full distance or if you can use indoor, you can dial it back. And that's the cool part. So you're gonna use these rounds indoors. Sometimes the velocity was just a bit too much. This will give you that adjustability and one tube to take it outdoors for the long launching. Also the third one for you guys have been asking is the CO2 shell. So you got all three of these on there. Um, some new rounds that they're looking at here, like a Sabo round, this one splits apart. This is for their other launcher. If you guys have not seen their other launcher, it's pretty cool. Uh, they have two. They have the tube here that fit into any existing like 203 or 40 millimeter type launcher. Then they have a second one that is self-powered. It has its own CO2. It's the right now, it's the Russian one. I think they're maybe working on an American one too. Uh, it's like the Russian launcher and it has its own uh, 12 gram in there and it powers it so you don't need the tube, you would just jam the projectile in. Well, now they've got these little caps so it fits in there. And by doing that, they moved on the old rounds, there was rifling that matched the spiraling here toward the bottom. They've now moved Gen 2, the rifling less and up to the top to fit these little bitty plastic caps. This is a pretty cool one. I want to show you this one. It's a Sabo round. So it's, you load, you literally split the shell apart, you fill it full of BBs, and you close it back together. It gives you a shotgun blast that doesn't really open up till about 30 or 40 feet away. So it's nice tight grouping, then it starts to spread. So you actually have this really effective blast that starts to open up at range, but still give you a tight grouping. And then, as I knock some over, last but not least, some of these actually have BBs inside now. They're loading them up. And then this one is uh, double impact. It's got the spring, it shows you it works. So if it tumbles in flight, it can impact reverse and still set that off and throw the BBs around. So there's actually BBs more than just noise. Also, hand grenades with like a gelatin that turns into a powder inside with BBs or just the gelatin. So it's just kind of like a powder and sound when it goes off. And then of course, all the stuff you guys know, the R2 BSs and, and all those awesome ones down there and some other flashbangs. So all these now are available Eva, thank you for saying This could be a longer video than the other one, so stick with me. Moving on down, you guys got Daniel Fence. You know these guys are doing the DD license on this. You got some event stuff they were doing, um, but DD license now uh, under the house. Uh, Black Man Ordnance stuff, you've seen me, I've done a review video on BRO. Um, SAI Red Single Stack Pistol down over here. By the way, you guys know these, I think I showed you in Taiwan. The infinite, awesome, mega, freaking, high cap drum mag for your high cap uh, and I think they have the Glock one too. Sharp Rose Jack 9 comes in two different lengths. This one here and they've got a longer version. It has like two m lock sections. This one's an Aries made. What's really cool about it, it actually has a side pulling stock with leads on the inside. Now, uh, don't open it up because the leads are exposed. So when you have it open, it's for storage really with the battery in there. Make sure you take the battery out. But it's pretty cool and they're using a more vertical style grip here at the Aries. So actually the motor engagement is a little different. They have to do a lot of engineering to make this happen. Um, that's going on. Seekers Precision SP223. I'm going to have a full review of this in like a week out. I've, I've already filmed it. It is made by G&G &G and it's licensed for Seekins on that. A lot of licensed stuff because this is EMG. If you guys know they're the licensing uh, separate entity of that. Moving down, Sharp Pro Overthrow. Uh, just the paint job on this thing is, is pretty darn cool. Um, going on down, I got some cool stuff to show you here. STI DVC 3 gun. This is new. I'm going to try to get really close on this one. Give you guys a good feel of it. Um, this is one of their newer offerings on here. Again, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Hudson H9, you might have saw this from some of my coverage at uh, MOA show. They were showing there under the EMG booth. 
Uh, of course, you guys know the SEI Blue and the Angstat Arms SCW9. The other one is called Matt Off Camera. UDP9. UDP9. I, I, I'm good at memorizing, but not this. And it's going to be this is the one that the one's the long one. Okay, I said it wrong. I saw you guys hovering off. The other one, hang on. Just one link. This, 9mm. This one, two different lengths. See, I try to soak it all up and give it back to you. I told, I'm not perfect. We're live. This is what's going on. This one comes in two lengths: single M lock section, double M lock section. Uh, the other version I mentioned is the long one. You have the stock. This is still a prototype. Uh, it, it's it's a little bit out on this one. It's not going to be released soon. The other ones are a lot closer. Uh, you can tell on what's going on here. These are all pretty much finalized at that. Um, Again, 9mm style magazine, super hot. That's like the hot thing right now. You guys know the grays. Uh, you know the uh, F1 stuff, BDRs. You guys know the blues, the armor. The red is new. So you got the SAI Red H. So it's like your double stack kind of um, double stack flared Magwell STI kind of thing going on. Actually, it's STI licensed here at the bottom, if you can see. I don't know if you can see it on the stamp there. Um, and it's got the full dust cover kind of thing with the rail at the bottom all the way out as opposed to the 2011 <coughs> oh I'm losing my voice oh no 2011 double stack SAI um, of course you got like I said F1 this is the new short bear rifle the SBR it's coming out uh, more blues blue C you know that already What's going on <coughs> Some Falcor Blitz Cerakoted, so you can show you a little bit of the Cerakote. And then, of course, they are the distributor for Chris for North America. They've got all the Chris products on there. Also, you've got the utility slide. It's a salient SAI utility slide. It will, this is going to be specifically designed not for the Marui. This utility slide here is designed for the VFC Glock, the officially licensed Glock. So you're going to be able to do an SAI slide as a slide kit to go in the frame. Um, they might possibly be offering it as a full kit, as a combination partnership with Umarex later in the future, but right now it's going to be the slide kit. You have to buy the gun, buy the slide, take your old slide off, put the new one on, move some parts over. And of course you guys know all the Crytek stuff that's going on here um, and moving down. So. That is it. Sorry for the mess up earlier with the Aries thing. I do want to show you how the Aries gun works before we wrap up. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to swing over here, and then I'm just going to take this thing. And I'm going to grab it on the table, because we're live. So this is it. I'm going to show you. Can I, oh, I got off-camera hands. Look at this. So that's how it works. We got the contacts. That's what I'm saying, like, these contacts are exposed. Do the battery, but I love the idea. The idea here is transport. And then it also, this is what makes this one cool. This is, by the way, this is Aries, guys. They do such cool stuff these days. I really think they're innovating. So now you have this. This is your travel. Do you guys take public transportation to go play airsoft? I do now, actually. I do in Taiwan. This got my attention because now I have something very small, very, very, very small to be able to get to the game. I get there, I fold it out, throw the battery in, put the end on the front. Who knows, they might do longer ends in the future. What Aerie's been doing, I think, if you look at their sniper rifle, they're kind of following the same thing with the striker. Modularity, compact size. So anyway, that's what's going on with everything. By the way, that's the boss. That's the big man. I didn't like the on camera that much, but that's my, it's Zivik himself. So anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's super long. More from SHOT Show 2019. And until then, don't forget to like, comment, hit the sub button, mash the notification bell so you get notified on all the uploads. And I'll see you at the next one.